everybody, I'm Ashley, and today we are going to be making over a classroom. If you haven't noticed, Space Lift is back. So I posted on Instagram saying, if I do this Space Lift mini series, what spaces should I do? And someone suggested a classroom, actually, and then I was like, what if? We don't just do a classroom. We do three episodes and we do three different spaces that are all centered around back to school. So that's kind of how we ended up here. I'm so excited about it. The makeovers are going to be mini in this mini series. These are really makeovers that can be done for cheap and can be done in one day. Anyway, let's talk about today's episode. We are gonna go to Summit Academy where Mr. Schaefer and Miss Capers are co-teaching sixth grade and they have some very exciting plans for their students this year. Take a look at the video that they sent me. I'm just so excited to play a tiny little part in the amazing things that are gonna happen this year. Before we get started though, here is a quick breakdown of how we're gonna do this. First, I'll do some research. I'm gonna search the web for anything I can find about what solutions they might need, what their style is like. Then comes the makeover. I'll have a couple hours to completely make over the space. Finally, the big reveal will show them the new space and see how well I was able to translate all my creepy research into an awesome new classroom. All right, it's research time. Since this is a mini-series, I'm shaking things up a little bit. I thought I would consolidate the research portion by creating a study guide. Get it? Because it's back to school theme. All right, so Mr. Schaffer and Miss Capers have been co-teaching together for two years now, but this is their first year in sixth grade. In this school, sixth grade is the first year of middle school. Last year, they were voted dynamic duo. Mr. Schaffer came to Summit Academy through Teach for America, and he has loved it so much that he's gonna continue teaching even after his Teach for America time is up. Miss Capers had a Pinterest board dedicated to decorations and also some dollar store organization tips. So we're gonna try and incorporate some of those into this makeover. I can just tell how much these students love their teachers. We need to create a classroom that is colorful and organized and just set up for success. All right, it's makeover time. I am so excited about this classroom, but it's kind of just a pile of desks at the moment. We have six projects we're gonna tackle today in order to transform this space. First, we're gonna arrange and cover some of the furniture to make sure it flows nicely and looks cohesive. Our second project is setting up some of the bulletin boards in the room. The third project is a contribution from my friend Tarn. She is going to make giant school supplies to decorate the room. You'll understand when you see it. While she is doing that, I will be making a little collaboration corner with flexible seating. Then another one of my friends, Kane, is going to make a really cute gift for the teachers by making a cake out of school supplies. And finally, we'll focus on getting organized. So paperwork, supplies, schedules, all that jazz. Mr. Schaffer and Ms. Capers are out at their orientation. They have a lot of meetings today to prep for the new school year. So I only have until four o'clock to get this room done. We need to get started. And the first thing we have to do is sort through that mountain of furniture. I think a big part of classrooms that is overlooked is that this space is also their office. Not only does it need to help the kids concentrate, but it needs to help the teachers concentrate. So I tried to put their desk into the corner in an L shape so that they have a designated space that kind of says, don't go behind my desk. And also they have full visibility of the room so that they can work on grading, paperwork, it's just a place for the two of them to work together. There's a lot of desks in here, but they're a little beaten up. Some are cracked, some are scratched. I am actually gonna cover them in some contact paper. I know I really abuse the contact paper thing in my videos, but it's just so easy and so temporary. And I'm always working in spaces that either they're rented apartments or places where you can't make super permanent changes. So I think it's a great solution for that sort of thing. Then we have our bulletin board. A cheap way to cover a big bulletin board is just to use wrapping paper, which I'm sure a lot of teachers know, but figured I would mention it because maybe you're not a teacher and you're watching this and you have a cork board you'd like to cover. And this was a little trick that I actually thought of while I was in Target the other day. I bought an accordion folder that had different 
different color dividers. And since they were laminate, I pulled them out of the accordion folder and stapled them to the bulletin board. They can almost be used as mini dry erase boards. The way I'm using them today is to outline the week and what events kids can expect, but they can use this for all sorts of things, whether it be a seating assignments or due dates, anything they want the kids to have visibility into. Also, you can leave the top section of the folders unstapled so that kids can submit papers into those folders. So you can write like book reports here and then they can slip it in there. So when the next assignment comes up, you just wipe it away and they can put their new assignment in the same folder. In classrooms, a lot of times communal supplies tend to disappear. <laughs> So Tarn actually had this great idea to make a stapler that is fixed to the bulletin board and actually next to that later on we're going to have a little turn-in station for kids to turn in their papers. So there's no excuse to turn in unstapled papers and there's also no excuse to steal the stapler. Now it is time for our giant school supplies. Tarn is just a creative genius. This was actually a different video that she did, making giant school supplies. And when she said she was doing this video, I said, I need the finished product to include in this classroom. And she happily obliged. The first project was making giant versions of loose leaf paper and a marble notebook. And these are actually functional cork boards where they can hang up all sorts of things. The second thing that she made was a giant pencil. And it actually serves as a place for students to turn in notes to their teacher. So maybe there's things that they're too shy to say to the teacher in person. Maybe you didn't understand something from the lesson and you're too embarrassed to ask. They can do that here. Also, a fun fact is that it actually writes. My personal favorite giant school supplies was this big eraser that she made. While Tarn was working on her giant school supplies, I got started on the collaboration corner, is what I'm calling it. Miss Capers and Mr. Schaffer had mentioned that they wanted some sort of flexible seating. What I did was I took these plastic crates that you can get at the dollar store, and I cut a memory foam bath mat to the size of the crate, and I put some ribbons on the corner to tie it onto the crate. I also got some regular mats and pillows for the kids to sit on. That long one is from Pillow Fort. It's pretty great. When they're not using this corner, they can actually put all the mats back into the crate, flip it upside down, and tuck it in the corner so that it's out of the way but easily accessible. Something I noticed on Miss Caper's Pinterest board was they wanted some sort of creative take on a student of the week so that the students could get to know each other and share a little bit about themselves. So what I did was I took a poster frame that cost me about $4. I'm realizing I'm turning a lot of things into a whiteboard today, but it's okay. What I'm doing here is I cut out paper so that it looked like a giant phone with text bubbles going back and forth. The teacher can actually write some questions and then whichever student of the week it is can reply with their answers. Our next project is another very generous contribution from another one of my very dear friends, Kana. She made a cake out of school supplies. I think it is such a cute way to give a practical gift to teachers. I'm sure they love coffee mugs, but in reality, they've got 20 dried glue sticks in their room. So I think this is a fun way to give something that they can really put to use in the classroom. From paperwork to tissues to activities, you name it, we've got a hack for it. And here they are. I feel like I'm back in school again trying to hit a deadline, but we got it done and just in time because it is time for this reveal. I want you guys to envision your old room, what it was like, how it made you feel. Do you have any words to describe how it made you feel? Um, inspired to do better. Oh, I like that. I think we have done better. Are you kidding me? Oh my god! What? Oh wow. my god. This is amazing. That's insane. Oh.
insane, <laughs> literally though. I'm like, I love it. This like takes off so much work that we would ever have to do in a classroom. Uh, the scholars are going to absolutely love this section. Right. This is amazing. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I can't. Like this is, I have no words at all. The fact that you guys are gonna like put the books in the bookshelves, that literally took us like two weeks to do last year. Like that's yes. amazing. Don't tell your librarian, but we did them in color order. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's so well organized. There's That's some amazing. decimal system that is uh, very mad at me right now, but <laughs> we, we thought it looked cute. Oh, thank, you thank you so, so much. much. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I just want to say thank you to all the amazing teachers out there who are putting in the work putting in the love and changing lives all over the country and all over the world. I also wanna say thank you to all the amazing teachers that I've had in my life. I loved going to school and that is all because of the amazing teachers that I had who made me feel like it was, oh my gosh. I just wanted to thank all my teachers and now I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't expect that. Teachers just really can make all the difference. Don't forget, there's two more episodes of this little back to school mini series, a homework center next week, and the week after that is dorm room makeover. So if you're interested, subscribe to Nifty, turn on the notifications, you know the deal, and I will see you next week. Bye.